welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Anna. I'm a little bit spooky and we are not seasonally appropriate at all. We went super cool toned today with our look, but I was inspired by my hair color. I got um, some new hair color going on. This is from IGK. This is titanium through my front bits. And I wanted to create a really smoky, cool time look, and I wanted to use all affordable products. And just about everything on my face is from e.l.f. Aside from the eyeshadow palette, which is the ColourPop Baroque palette. And oh, I forgot what fun this palette is. I love it still. And my lipstick, I think, is the only other thing that is not e.l.f. Literally the foundation, the primer, the bronzer, the blush, everything else is e.l.f. on this face, even in the brows. So, uh, yeah, if that interests you, just go ahead and keep on watching. But before you do, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know what other e.l.f. products you'd like to see me test out. I'm really enjoying e.l.f. lately. And we went a little extra full coverage today, but I think it looks good. Without further ado, let's go ahead and just get into this full face. Get ready with me kind of thing. Just playing in some makeup. Doing a look to go with my hair. So, yeah. Hey, all right. You guys like my, my new hair color? I kind of did some experimenting and I got sent the IGK new hair color, their at home hair color, in the shade Titanium. And that is what I put in my front bits. And I think it looks really pretty. So, yeah. Anyway, I want to do a look based around that hair color. Let me uh, tilt you up a bit so you can actually see my hair. I think it came out really good. I, I like this color. Okay, so, yeah, I wanted to do something kind of uh, inspired by that hair color. Anyway, I've already primed my eyes with the NARS eyeshadow primer just because I'm trying to use it up. And I went over that a little bit with the e.l.f. camo concealer just to kind of blank things out. Not a whole lot, just a little bit padded over and blended out. And then I dusted over a touch of translucent powder just to... Uh, Set everything down. We're gonna go with the Baroque palette today because, um, hello, these colors are everything anyway. I, I love it. I just feel like doing a cool tone look and I want to play with this. And we're also going to do the rest of the face is going to be nothing but e.l.f. products. So that they be kind of, I love this palette and I just, it's not a palette that is an everyday reach for palette, but I just love it. I want to use it all the time. It's just having that specific occasion to use it and well, this hair color, I think, calls for it because, yeah, super cool tone, kind of grayish. I feel like it works. All right, so let's go ahead and just get started. I'm going to take a big old fluffy brush. A baby first is this one right here in the top corner. Let's take a little bit of that. I'm not going to spend a lot of time explaining what I'm doing on the eyes today because I have done a couple of looks with this palette and it's not going to be anything like groundbreaking or different because I have done some tutorials with this palette before. It's more just about the whole look all together. You're just going to go very cool toned even though I know we're coming up in spring and <clears throat> yeah <laughs> I'm still in the mood for these really cold looks. I like that these shades actually perform pretty well as transitions even though they look very deep. They're gracefully pigmented like they they blend out really easily. And make nice transitions. <laughs> I hate when I sit down and do makeup and I have a game plan, but then I start to question it and do something different, which is what's happening today. I was going to go more purple, and then I decided, you know what, let's lean into this more titanium shade. It's got a bit more blue green in it. My dog is fussing at the mail carrier. <sighs> Every time they stop in a house, a mailbox, she goes, Woof. no. Just this little closed mouth bark. This Woof. No, ma'am. No. No. <laughs> She's got to talk back. No. All right, I'm just building up a baby a little bit. Must be pronounced like Moira from Schitt's Creek. And just cleaning around these edges, just to make sure everything's looking nice and smooth. And take just a touch of bougie. I mean, just a teensy bit here. And come around. I don't love that tone that bougie is, but it will work. Just 
for softening up just a bit. Okay, now I'm going to go to a pointed crease. I'm going to take Etiquette, which is one of those glittery kind of shades, but the glitter doesn't really do much. And it's just a little bit deeper than Bebe, I think. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to take that through the socket line. A little bit more concentrated. Yeah, they're pretty much the same color. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I think Etiquette might be lighter. Shit. Oh, well. Let's go back to Bebe and take a little bit more of that and focus it right into the socket. Um, I, I don't want to go too navy blue. Stunner is like kind of almost a navy blue. I think I'm going to take bring in a little bit of lounge, which is going to pull in a little bit more of a purple tone. Let's take a little bit of that and use that to really kind of darken up right here. Same brush. Just focusing in. This is a Sony Kashuk pointed crease. Excellent brush, by the way. Really gonna focus that in. And see that's kind of changing the tone just a touch, but really adding a lot of darkness right into that socket line. And blending up and out a little bit. So I just ordered Stone Cold Fox. I'm really excited about it. They had a bundle of Stone Cold Fox, It's a Mood, Play It Jewel, and another one that I wasn't quite as excited about, but it's um uh, one of the other large palettes for $67. And even with a sale that they were running where it had 30% off the larger palettes, it was still cheaper to buy that bundle than buying just the three of the ones that I wanted separately. So I was like, let's just get the fucking bundle and get the other palette too. <laughs> Why not? So I ordered that the other day from ColourPop and I ordered um, a lippy bundle. I'm going to take just a little bit of secret, that same little point of crease, and just kind of dust a little bit of that in right here. That doesn't really do anything. The kick up a ton. All right, now I want to take Ritzy and apply that onto the lid. I love the shade Ritzy. I think it's so pretty. It's like a gorgeous duochrome with a greeny shift in it. It's like a peachy rose to a teal shift. It is very pretty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that onto the lid and maybe we'll do like a little bit of a cut crease. Let's do a little bit of a cut crease. I haven't done that in forever. Kind of give us a little something interesting here. Take a little bit of elf camo concealer. So like I said, the rest of the face is going to be all elf except for the lips. I don't have anything but lip gloss from elf. I don't have like um, and some lip liner. I don't really have any lipsticks from elf. I, I've decluttered most of them just because I, yeah, they're old at this point. And I'm going to kind of cut the crease just a bit. Kind of half cut crease. I don't like going all the way over with the cut crease. It just doesn't suit my eye shape, but I just want it to come up just above the fold of my lid. Not the neatest cut crease in the world either. Let me get back in and kind of soften that edge. And we're going to take a little bit of Ritzy on a large lay down brush. And we'll pat that on over the concealer. Pretty. Ooh. Okay, now I'm going to go back to, I'm use that same brush, that lay down brush, and take some more of, uh, let's take some of lounge and blend this edge. And we'll go back to a little bit of baby. Like that's looking pretty cool. I'm going to do a little bit of liner on this eye. Um, where's that? I have a pink patch in this eye ball. Looks like irritated. I don't know what I've done. Where that came from, how long it's been there. I just noticed it and I was like, what the fuck is that? It's like pink a little bit on the white of that eye. But I have been kind of itchy eyed and kind of irritated from allergies. That's probably what it is. I just never noticed it before. Now it's like itching because I saw, I looked at it and I'm like, I want to rub my eye really bad. <laughs> Those I have been kind of itchy. My eyes were irritated the other day too. So anyway. I'm going to try to finish up this Sigma gel liner here. This is the product I'm trying to use up. But a great liner from the drugstore that I would recommend is the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof. That's a really good one. And good old Maybelline pencil liner. The uh, gel liner. Uh, uh, ColourPop's eyeliner is really good. Their eyeliners are great. But I'm just really trying to use this one up. I've got like a little bit left. And it's just a generic, you know, it's just a black liner. 
It's not special, but I mean, I love the Sigma one, but you can get a good gel liner from the drugstore. But I just want to go ahead in with it and use it to kind of uh, smoke this outer corner a bit. I, I mean, literally, this is probably my last day to use this. It's like almost out. I'm going to smudge this. I'm going to take some of lounge and kind of blend that over top. Right, I'm going to take a little bit more of Ritzy on my finger. Let's see, make sure that is good, good impact on my inner part. You could also dampen your brush. I kind of bring this out just a tad. Yeah, it's a little bit of grand. Just right here, because it's the darkest in the palette. I'm going to take a little bit more lounge. I'm just doing a little back and forth trying to get this how I want to look. I want to do a little bit more intensity around that socket line. I'm taking a little Morphe 562 and just kind of right around where we cut the crease and that lid shade just to kind of give a fake socket line almost and some intensity there. And I'm going to dampen my flat brush or my lay down brush and come back in with a little bit more ritzy. There we go. Alright, I'm going, going to try to repeat this on the other side. And we'll see how things end up. I'm just doing a little bit more blending. I really end up deciding I wanted to blow this out quite a bit. <laughs> Gonna do a big look. I will take just a touch of a... Uh, Noble. It's right here. I'm going to try to repeat this on the other side <laughs> and clean up fallout. I will be right back. And when I clean up fallout, I'm just going to clean up this right under here and just swoop this up. So I'll see you guys in just a second and we'll have everything kind of evened out, hopefully. Okay, tidying up the fallout. And I popped on just a little bit of some liquid liner just to do a little baby wing there. Because I'm going to go in false lashes, I think. I think we're just going to go all in on this look. I feel like my eyelids look like wrinkly ball sacks today. They're so dry. Anyway, next, let's move on to doing some skin because I want to play with some e.l.f. products. I have a ton of e.l.f. complexion and blush, bronzer. All that that is some new, some old favorites, and yeah, I just want to, I just want to play. Okay, we're, we're just gonna do, do it. I'm gonna put my sleeves up because we're gonna get serious. Cuffs on these are very not stretchy. All right, so I've already done my usual skincare. Actually, I didn't do usual skincare. I just went in with my Lord Jones today, in a bit of autocorrect because my skin is just kind of dry and itchy. <laughs> so I just want a little extra comfort on the skin. So now I'm going to take some of this Elf Elixir. Why is the name not on the front? Illuminating Elixir. I'm going to use that in place of Flaws Filter. Um, oh, at first, let's take some Acne Fighting Putty Primer. Let's do some of that. I'm just all over the place. Pop some of this into the T-zone. This is what I also use to clamp the fallout. With some putty primer on a Q-tip. I'm just gonna push that in right in there. I think the acne fighting putty primer is just where it's at, man. It's so much better than the original. I don't know what it is about it, but it is so nice in comparison. It's just a good little primer. I do have in my cart the Tarte Smooth Operator Primer, I think. Smooth Operator. Sade, anybody? Sade? I went back and like listened to like a bunch of her old songs the other day. I just got on a little kick. Smooth Operator was a banger. All of Sade's music was just pretty damn good. Alright, now we'll take some of this Illuminating Drops from Elf. And I'm going to keep that. This was in their Electric Mood Collection, which is still available on the website, by the way. 
and online various retailers. I'm going to put some of that just on the kind of T-zone area. Oh, not T-zone. High points. Treat it like a highlighter. Like a floss filter. The dropper does not work very well. <laughs> it's the only downside to this product. I'm going to put this everywhere that I would put floss filter. This is a little bit less glowy than Flawless Filter, but you still kind of get that same effect. It's just a little less special. <laughs> like something about Flawless Filter is just on another level. But this is, if you took the like Iconic London drops and mixed them with Flawless Filter and kind of toned them down, this is more what that is. Uh, it's kind of hard to describe. It's not maybe as refined. It's a little but it's still pretty. Like, it's still a really nice product. And I enjoy it. I think it can cling to dry spots if you're not careful. So I don't like to put, like, right in here. Of course, I don't want a, too much glow right in there anyway. It has a really nice tone to it. It's just something kind of soft, but it gives a little glow that's going to peek through. Oh, I forgot. This is the uh, Putty Primer Applicating little brush. I forget to use this. Let me, I just kind of want to see how it goes. I just forgot I had it. It has a little scooper where you can like scoop some out, which is really neat. I would just take it like straight in there. Just curious. I think this would be a really good concealer brush as well. I might use it as my concealer brush. Yeah, that does good for primer. I like that it has a little scoop on it. But I think this will be really, really good for blending out concealer. Okay. Stop putting on primer. <laughs> we put enough primer on. I'm going to take my ultimate blending brush here. And we're going to use that to apply our foundation. And I'm going to take a little bit of the CC Camo foundation here. This is in Fair 120 Neutral. And I also have the powder foundation which they say you can use in conjunction and I have it in fair 120 neutral so we're going to use this to set this we're going to end up probably a full coverage face today and I look very ghostly but we'll I just I want to test them together okay it's for science so I'm going to take a pump of this and I'm going to try to keep it kind of light handed here and we're going to take a little bit onto a little ultimate blending brush buff some of this on I haven't used the CC camo foundation in a while. I do like it applied with the brush best. I think I'm more partial to it personally than I am to the powder foundation. But I got so many compliments on my skin when I was wearing the powder foundation. I was like, what? <laughs> okay. I've made my friends just maybe prefer like matte finishes more. Than I do. I guess this is just one pump so far. It'd be nice to revisit this as well. I'm gonna take like half a pump and finish up the forehead. And I'm gonna make my husband take me on a date tonight. <laughs> you ever just decide your husband should take you on a date <laughs> or boyfriend or whatever without even telling them? Just you're just like, you're taking me on a date <laughs> now. Yeah, I just feel like a, I don't want to waste this face. <laughs> Do all his makeup. I mean, I'm not cooking tonight, so we gotta eat anyway. Now, I want to go to an Academy Sports where we get because I want new outdoor chairs. Uh, not outdoor chairs. Well, yeah, but like fold up chairs. You know, the ones you like bring with you to places. I want some with a little table on it. Or maybe some of those little rocking chair ones. I want some bougie ones. Because we have a party coming up. St. Patrick's Day party. Which is like an all day event. In a couple of weekends. And I want to have a nice comfy chair. To sit in all day. And not have to sit on the ground. Or in some shitty fold up chair. I want to get me a nice fold up chair. 
Now let's do a little concealer. This is the Camo Concealer and Hydrating Formula, and this is Pharaohs. Do a little bit. I feel like this has been looking kind of dry on me lately. It's like everything's been a little bit dry on me or like a way oily on me. It's like one or the other. Like what in the hell is going on with that? Either super dry or oily. No middle ground. I'm gonna take the little putty <laughs> uh, brush. I'm gonna use that for right up here. So I think this is a dang good little concealer brush. I mean, it's a little chunky, but also get the job done quick. Heck yeah. Oh, my brow pencil day is also e.l.f. Uh, they make a really good micro brow pencil. Big fan of that. I have some, like, a couple of the bite size eyeshadow palettes, but I just didn't feel like playing with those today. I really wanted to do broke. And then I was pulling a few products I just wanted to use, and they ended up being e.l.f. products. I was like, you know what? Let's just do all e.l.f. or as much e.l.f. as we can. Aside from the eyeshadow and lip. Yeah, I think this makes a great little concealer brush. Also, a really good size to throw in your bag for touch-ups. Like, uh, for example, with the Camo CC powder, or the Camo powder, they say, you know, bring it for touch-ups and stuff, and it comes with this sponge, and I think the sponge just applies way too much product. I will link my review and my experience with this damn little sponge. I wouldn't bother with it, but I think maybe bringing this with it for little quick touch-ups would be great. There, that's what you should do with it. Okay. Now, to set this down, I am going to take the e.l.f. Flawless Face Sponge. I mean, Flawless Face Brush. And this way I get kind of a lighter application. And I'm just going to lightly kind of pat it over to set everything down. So I haven't tried this as a, like a setting powder. I've tried it as a foundation powder. That's a lot of coverage. That is very full coverage. That is how you get full coverage. And dear God, I look so pale. Oh my gosh. But you see how it like just flawlessly matched my body though. Well, this does. This I think is a little bit lighter in the same shade, but it's just a, feels a bit lighter. But definitely think this would help increase the longevity of the CC cream. And if you wanted like super duper coverage. Let's see how this looks though up close. It looks pretty heavy. <laughs> I mean it looks flawless, but you can you can see it, you know, you can tell there's definitely makeup on my skin. But it's not the worst. <laughs> like I've definitely seen worse. So yeah, I mean it's definitely like blurring everything, but I feel like it's very Visible at the same time, you can tell there's, uh, I feel like a, it could go cakey really easily. So I'm going to put that down. I'm going to go with my <laughs> Halo Glow, which is my favorite e.l.f. powder. And we're going to take that around the rest of the face and try to maybe soften this up and give it a little bit more of a glowy look. Because I feel like it's just looking a bit too matte for my taste. That was my only real complaint with the... Camo foundation is that it was, or the um, powder foundation is that it's super matte. But maybe if you dusted this over it, it'd be pretty. Okay. I feel like this powder is like the savior, <laughs> saving grace type of product, the halo powder. It's like an hourglass ambient lighting powder, but in a loose form. It is freaking magic. Look at the difference that made. Well, I don't know if you can really tell the difference, but I feel like it made such a difference. It just made the skin look a little more creamy and just a little bit less makeup-y. But still flawless. It just looks a bit heavy right, right in here. That's my only problem. Is see, this gets real heavy on you. You have got to be a bit careful with it. It's, it's I gotta say, it's not my favorite thing in the world. Like, I don't think I'm gonna repurchase it. Because I think it's too hit or miss. Like some days I have really good luck with it. Some days I feel like my makeup looks like shit with it. So we'll update on that. Right. So now let's do a little bit of bronzer. Because good God do we need it. 
I'm going to take a little bit of the putty bronzer from e.l.f. and we'll take that on a e.l.f. buffing foundation brush. I guess I could use the flawless blending brush. I could use that too, I guess. Maybe that's what this one's more for. I can't get it that backwards. I don't know. Either way, we're going to take it on this flawless foundation brush first and see how that goes. So it might go on the other one. All right, so I'm going to load up the brush and knock it off. And this does apply really well over powder, so you don't have to worry about that. And it applies really nicely over the CC or the, the camo powder. I was gonna call it CCR. All right, I'm gonna go back to my buffing brush from foundation. I'm just gonna tap that around, make sure it's all blended. A little bit of shape added to the face. I'm gonna take same putty bronzer on a big fluffy brush and I run it in there. It's a big uh, fluffy eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to start to kind of pull right here. Blend it into that eyeshadow a bit. And that will give you a nice little bit of lift. Right there you can kind of take your concealer brush and just help blend that outer it in a little better. Alright, clean that brush back off and do any little bit of eyeshadow blending that you might want to add in. I can just do any little touch-ups you want to do. I feel like I kind of blended away a little too much of my eyeshadow out here when I went in with the bronzer. So I'm going to touch that up just a bit. Alright, let's move on to that lower lash line real quick and then I drink a coffee. Oh, I forgot to set my under eyes. Better do that real fast. <laughs> Oops. I'm going to take a... This is an e.l.f. blush brush. I like to use this for under the eye for setting. And I'm going to take some more of that halo powder. Because that sets the under eye really nicely. I'm going to just pat a little bit of this under here. Now on the lower lash line, I'm going to take this little uh, Morphe brush. This is a... 152, and I'm going to just go straight in with the shade Grand on one side of the brush. And with the side of the brush with the pigment on it facing up, I'm going to come right here and tuck it into that outer corner and let it blend across. It's like that. I think that looks really nice, just leaving that there. Then maybe we'll take a little bit of Ritzy. Just right, this inner part. Just sweep it softly. Let's do a little blush. And uh, for blush, I'm going to pull in. This is Caribbean from e.l.f. Putty Blush. I'm going to charge you light hand with this one because it's very bright. But it's also a pretty berry. We're going to take the Flawless Ultimate Blending. Ooh, ooh. All right. Tap, tap, tap that off. Just get a little bit on here. Focus it up here. Tone that down just a bit. Oh, look at this wonderful hive popping up over here. Fun, I can see it through the makeup. Awesome. Cool. Cool. Love that. Bring a little bit of that blush up around. And tap it almost into the eyeshadow a little bit. I'm just taking what's left on my back of my hand. Okay. Cool. Alright, that looks pretty. Everything is itching right now. Oh my gosh, allergies suck. So highlighter. We're going to use the e.l.f. White Gold, I think. Yeah. And take that just on a little highlighting brush. And just do a little kiss of this. 
And a nice little C shape here. Oh, you know what would look cute with this? This one from Retro Paradise. This is the Face and Body Shimmer. And I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't say which one this is. There's two of these, two colorways. This one's, I guess, the more pinky looking one. Look at Pinky Peach. Let's see if we can pick any of this up. Hmm. Fun. Super glowy. Look, like we needed the glow. <laughs> it's feeling very dry. Okay, that looks pretty with this. We're just whipping out old new favorites from Elf now, really. <laughs> okay. We're going to do a little setting spray. This is the Elf Micro Find Setting Mist. Very good. One of my favorite setting sprays. Okay, I'm going to let that dry down. I'm going to do my brows and pop on some falsies. And we'll be back to do lips and see the finished look. And we are back. I was gonna put on some falsies, <laughs> some little half lashes, and realized I have no lash glue. <laughs> I am completely out of lash glue. So <laughs> and we just layered up a lot of the Elf Big Mood mascara. So yeah, and what's funny is I was just watching Tati while I was doing this, and she was talking about this mascara. And girls overselling it a little bit. <laughs> Like, it ain't that good, but it's good. It's good for the drugstore. Well, no. It's good for Elf, because Elf doesn't do great mascaras. This is definitely a good kind of everyday mascara to me. It's nice. It doesn't give me anything crazy. It's not nearly as good as the Bite Up Swing, but it's pretty good. I don't think it's like my holy grail drugstore mascara or anything like that. But anyway, here is... a. Everything done, so let's get that lip on. I'm excited. And for lips, I'm gonna go in with Maybelline Ultimate in More Mocha, because I feel like that's gonna be the perfect color for this eye look. And yeah, I really like the skin came out. A little cakey, a little cakey. Like, you can definitely tell I'm wearing foundation. <laughs> I think it's just because I've been so used to like wearing really lightweight stuff lately that it's a little jarring compared to the lighter weight products I've been wearing but it's not like insane like oh my god you know heavy cakey yucky looking it's just a perhaps a little more full coverage than what I've been used to right uh lip liner For lip liner I'm gonna go with the NYX Los Angeles I have bought a new one <laughs> just using this one up Oh, yeah, I need to pick up a new lash glue. I know uh, I threw it out because it was, you know, getting all kind of caked up looking and gummy. So I guess it's time for a new one. So, yeah. I think I'll do that this evening and <laughs> go pick one up. Dang it! <laughs> I wanted to wear falsies today. <laughs> I don't often want to, but <sighs> the one time I do. Oh, I'm going to hit the inner corner real quick with this little highlighter. I feel like we could use a little pop right there in the inner, inner, inner part. Okay, and in my brows, I use the e.l.f. Brow Soap as well. And their brow pencil. And let's go in with the lipstick now. Right. And to top that, I'm going to go in with this little gloss from e.l.f. as well. This is from the Electric Mood, and this is Fair. But it has a pretty similar shift to what we've put on the lids. Okay, and that is the look all complete. Kind of tying in with the new hair color. Cool toned. I think my hair looks kind of green in comparison. I could probably use a little bit of a purple toner through and it would uh, improve it, but I like the color though. But yeah, I wouldn't be mad. A little bit of purple undertone within. But yeah, I think this looks really good. Cool. All right. Anyways, that is all for today. Thanks for hanging out with me. Seeing how I created this cool tone look is a little bit of a journey because I kind of messed up a couple of times and goofed. 
But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below, is there any e.l.f. products you'd like to see me test out? I love e.l.f. and there will be more, ton more ColourPop coming your way because I, A, I just did a huge ColourPop order and B, my friend Chandra gave me some ColourPop stuff to play with. So we're gonna have a lot of ColourPop around here and a lot of more affordable things to play with and some more high-end things coming up as well. So yeah, all right. I will uh, see you guys in the next one. Stay safe. Stay spooky. Bye now.